Hi everybody, welcome to this video. If you're following on in sequence, you've just watched video two where we've added a breed and some breeders. Uh, if you haven't done that step yet, uh, please go and watch that video um, because you will need to have added a breed and some breeders in order to carry on. So now we are ready, uh, having added a breed and some breeders, to add our pedigrees, so our animals in other words. So I'm going to click on the pedigrees item at the top um, you'll see this This would be a search table if we had some animals, you'll see it's empty. So we can click on this Add Pedigree button in the top right. This is the Add Pedigree form and you'll see a lot of this form as you move through the system and add your own animals. So the first two fields at the top of this Add Pedigree form are special fields. They um, have to contain a link to breeders that already exist in the system. If I start typing see here are the two that we created in the previous video. So I'm going to choose test breeder as my breeder and I'm going to choose test owner as my owner. Um, I've only called them uh, these things just to make it clearer but um, they are the same um, type of, of breeder in the system. Uh, one isn't set up as a breeder to only be a breeder and one isn't set up to only be an owner. Uh, I could easily flip these boxes around and have the owner as the breeder and the breeder as the owner, but that would be a bit confusing for this first video. So the next box is probably uh, one of the most important. It's the registration number. <coughs> uh, pardon me. Now the system has um, given you an idea of a possible format, um, but this can be uh, anything you like. It's helpful if it ends with a number because then the system will increment it for you as you go through. And our breed is called test breed, so I'm going to imaginatively use TB, and then I'm just going to use a bunch of zeros and one as my first animal. Tag number over here um, is a freeform text field, so this can be anything you like, or it could be a microchip number, or a ring number, or a tattoo, anything you like in that field. The name you might choose uh, to go for a pedigree style name, so uh, you might have the breeder prefixed in there, and then we'll say test breeder Derek is our first animal. Date of registration, um, perhaps that's today, so we just click on the, the icon at the right hand side and choose today's date. Date of birth, just for simplicity, and let's say that, that was last month. We then need to say whether the animal is dead, alive or unknown, and whether it's male, female, castrated or unknown. Obviously not all of these options will be relevant to everything. Um, the litter size um, might be useful to you, so feel free to use, but it's not a required field. Uh, if you have the birth notification bolt on for cloud lines, which we'll cover in another video, you won't need to use this field. The father and the mother boxes, or you might have these labelled up as sire and dam, if you've chosen those labels at checkout. Um, these are special fields. These need to take a registration number for an animal that is already in the system. Now, as this is our first animal, TB0001, there are no other animals in the system, so we can't add anything into these boxes. What we can do is use the notes fields to help us. So what I might do is just write a note that says that the mother and the father were from wild stock. Um, and there's a description field which you can optionally use just to give a bit more detail about the animal itself. You then have a date of death field over here, which is obviously only relevant if it's died. And you have a section down here for some custom fields. We'll cover custom fields at a later date, but if you've added custom fields um, to your system, then they will appear here. You've then finally got a for sale or hire checkbox. If you tick this, it's quite helpful if you're using some of the more advanced API features of the system, uh, because you can pull out um, animals from the system for use on your website if they have sale or hire uh, checked. If not, don't worry about this box. Uh, and you'll see that breed is locked in and registration charges is here if you've enabled all of those features. So that's grayed out at the moment. And that is it. We can now click Submit and we'll get a confirmation box and we can say Save Pedigree. That is it. That is our first pedigree added. So if we look at our pedigrees um, item again, our pedigrees page, we can see that we have TB000 in the list. If we click on View, we get taken to Derek's profile page. 